Huawei wants you to take notice and this is its new phone with which it wants you to do so. It is the Huawei P8 and it is this year's fashion phone from Huawei and for once we're actually showing you the box because it is really quite nice. This slightly opaque cover comes off to reveal the phone you pull out and inside here you take this cover off and there's the uh, the charger and the headphones and everything like that but it's it's really quite nice for a box for a phone this is what you get inside it's the p8 uh, this one comes in champagne gold and it's quite hard to tell on the video because it's a very subtle color um, it actually almost looks silver in some lights as you can see there but it is champagne gold this is an aluminium unibody and it's beautifully chamfered at the edges. So a Sony style on and off button at the side, nice aluminium volume controls. This has um, the SIM card slot and it also has a slot for a micro, U micro SD card. Um, underneath here, you've got the speakers and the micro USB for the charging. And on the top, you've got your headphone socket. It is a beautifully designed phone. Just as a size comparison here, there it is against an LG G Flex 2. And the size comparison against an iPhone 6 Plus. So it is quite small. Considering this is a 5.2 inch screen, Huawei has definitely got a nice compact chassis. Um, on the front, as you can see here, they've cleverly disguised the bezels of the screen. So it looks like there aren't any, but when you switch the, the screen on, you can see that there is a small bezel at either side. Not that that's a problem. It still looks fantastic. Unlock the phone and we have Android 5.0 with Huawei's own uh, user interface over the top. Now they make it a little bit like iOS. So you don't have an app drawer. You just have home screens with all your apps on there. It's not terrible. It, it's only going to annoy people who are hardcore Android fans. It actually, if anything, makes apps a little bit easier to find. Uh, one thing that is important to note on the P8 is that Huawei have made big steps forward with the speed and smoothness of the user interface. This is version 3.1 installed on this phone. And they've given it a nice consistent look throughout. So if you look at uh, how the calendar looks, you have this big white screen and a black bar at the top. And you'll also get the same thing throughout other areas. So when you go into the phone app, for example, again, you have black and you have white. So you get a nice consistent view throughout. It's really nice. The phone runs um, Huawei's own Kirin processor. And in the past, we've been a bit unsure about the performance of these chips, but it's really good on here. Although the benchmark figures don't necessarily do it justice, we found that um, performance in the real world is excellent. The phone is really smooth, really fast, and has no problem with gaming either. So Huawei has made a big thing about the camera on the P8. And this is a 13 megapixel camera on the rear uh, with a dual color uh, flash next to it. The big thing is that it has the ability to take particular styles of photo. So you open up the camera app and you have this option down here called light painting. There are a selection of different options. So you can get it set up to take car light trails, um, silky water, a star track for taking pictures of the night sky if you're so lucky to be able to see the stars because we haven't here for a while. And a light graffiti mode which if your friends have got like sparklers or something like that, you can paint pictures in the air and the camera will pick it up. Now, they're very cool and they do work quite well, but you're gonna need a bit of practice. You hit the shutter and you get a timer, which then you control yourself as to when to stop. So it's not a full manual mode. It's sort of an approximation of made a little bit easier by Huawei. Bit of trial, bit of practice, you can take some really smart shots with this phone. That is the Huawei P8. And 
at the moment. It has a release date for Europe and various other places. We're still waiting on a US release date, but we have a feeling Huawei's not gonna to want to keep this one to themselves. So we should be looking forward to one in the future. Have a look at the full review of the Huawei P8 at digitaltrends.com.